Welcome to the platform, Brittany. How's your day going? Day is amazing now that I'm talking to you. Oh, God bless you, Queen. I'm focused on my business. I got a lot of shit to deal with. So even if I don't pick up, just know it's all still love, still love. I'm gonna always ride for you. I'm still the homie that'll slap for you. And when I'm out this season, we gon' celebrate with a shot. Back outside like a bitch, never stop, 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 stop. So how long have you been a singer? Oh man, uh, I've been a singer professionally. I would say both. I knew I could sing since I was seven, but I professionally started singing around like about sixteen. Okay, seven. Yeah, that's a that's a spiritual age. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> and it's interesting because I was singing to a friend, and they were like, "You sound wonderful. Keep singing." And I was like, "Oh, okay," you know. And that yeah. that was something that was like, "Okay," and I took heed to that, and I enjoy it. So amazing and so obviously i know your sound but for the audience how would you classify your sound uh i would classify my sound as very soulful um i sing for my soul for sure um i would classify uh my my sound as maybe like retro r&b not necessarily mm, yeah. just r and <laughs> no i agree with that actually if there's such a thing i think that you've coined your own phrase there yeah who inspired you um so many amazing women, honestly, um, and men as well. But I think recently um, I noticed that I, when I was growing up, I listened to a lot of Mary J. Blige, a lot of Lauryn Hill, mm -hmm. a lot of Ella Fitzgerald, a lot of um, um, a lot of the old Motown singers, you know, a lot of the girl groups, right? A lot of Stevie Wonder, a lot of Marvin Gaye. I love the way he layers his vocals. I agreed. Just like, yeah, like Marvin, Stevie, um, Curtis Mayfield, um, and then like, of course, like, you know, you have your, your crushes, so like the Chris Browns and the Omarians and stuff, which is so full circle for me because I ended up, you know, having, getting to work with him, you know, recently, so. Yes, yeah, so. yes. You're actually winning in all areas. I think I'm going to get to that question about the Grammys and everything, but yeah, it's been an incredible year for you, hasn't it? Yes, yes, I'm still very blessed. I feel very, very blessed. And um, if you wasn't a singer, this is a hard one or not, what would you have wanted to be? I would be a teacher. Beautiful. Teaching what? I feel like I'm really good at teaching things to people. Amazing. So <laughs> you kind of touched on this already, but I'm going to make you be really quite um, succinct with it. Have you got three fame, uh, female artists, uh, favourite female artists? I know you probably got more, but if you just like, had your top three, <laughs> it's hard. That's so hard. Yeah, it is. It's savage because there's more than three. But like, if you had to have three, like maybe even three that you'd want to collaborate with, who would? It, and they don't have to be alive, but who would it be? Um, three that I that are my favorite. They're so hard. Do you want me to come back to that? <laughs> I'll say, okay. For sure, hands down, um, I'd have to say Lauren Hill. You know, I think that just in her, um, when she was like in her, her era, right, in her energy, because I don't like to use the word peak because I don't feel like people peak or anything. Like, I don't like that. But we're not doing that age. Yeah. Alone, right? Yeah. And her aura. Yeah. Um, I would have loved to, like, be a fly on the wall there. Like, at least, you know? Yeah. Um, I love, um, I think that, so it's so hard because, like, I've kind of met people already. It's like, ah! Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, I haven't worked with Mary J. Blige yet. I haven't worked with her yet. She's I would amazing. love to work with her. I think um, she's someone that is top. She's top. Because I believe in feeling, you know, singing with feeling, singing with, you know. Um, and, of course, Whitney Houston. 
Okay, I think you actually done yourself proud of those answers because those are three queens that like even across the pond that they're like my I grew up with those three. I would say they raised me. Lauren Hill made you know, she she's the lyrics, the conscious, the the storytelling, Mary J's the feeling, the you know, you're going through something, you put on a Mary J and um, Whitney is just she's the mark queen she's the fairy godmother she's the fairy R&B godmother like she yeah. was four yeah. women she's the, yeah she's the voice of our uh, she's the sound you yes. know she's the one she, she she crawled so everybody else could walk right she's, she's the one who paved the way for Agreed. you know specific type of sound and I think that um, that that really really set the tone for what a real singer can be and can do right and can just be themselves nobody's topped her national anthem no they haven't no they haven't i think you've already answered this but i'm gonna put it out again is there anyone that you'd love to collaborate with um that i'd love to collaborate with right now i really want to collaborate with everyone i'm gonna be completely honest that's my answer i don't have like a particular person yeah i'm very open right now in the studio with um connecting with people that's my reason for even traveling right now i want to just meet everybody yeah i feel like because of the pandemic yeah technology hate to say it like that but you know um, ai is taking over everything so it's just yeah more than ever we need community more than ever so i want to meet and collaborate and work with as many people as possible that's a beautiful answer i really love that and i actually sense that when you said yes to our platform because i think that when people play the numbers game they're missing out on real authentic grassroots connections and i think that like you're going, you're going to meet incredible people at different like parts of their journey that have so much to pour into you. I, I've been out to LA and I do, I'm due to come back. And as I said, it's a, it's a hard place to kind of like carve out your niche. So you've done extremely well, extremely you. well. You're welcome. So three songs that embody female empowerment for you. Oh, three songs that embody. And one of yours better be in there. <laughs> well, yes, one of them top, my number one is confidence. You gotta have confidence. Uh, uh, that's gonna be our soundtrack, confidence. It's gonna be our soundtrack. I'm not going to lie, that's going along with you, this post. On, on confidence. What else? I've enough. You got two more. Two more. Female empowerment. Um, definitely. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it because listen, don't be missing out on me, okay? <laughs> put a ring on it, baby. Okay, that still holds true today. Come out with a remix today. Absolutely. I, I think we should do the remix. Has that got a rap remix? I think that one needs a bit of a rap. I think. <laughs> Yes, I mean, think about it. Think about, I mean, you know, we're still doing that. We are still know? doing it. <laughs> Mine's empty. Um, That's all I'm showing you. <laughs> I think you like it. Don't be missing out on me. Um, <laughs> it just makes me feel, you know, empowered. Like, hey, don't miss out on something amazing. You know, I'm a beautiful woman. I'm a great woman. I'm a good thing, you know, yeah. and I think every woman should feel that way. Especially, especially when it comes to dating relationships and Absolutely. all the smorgasbord. We got the balloon. We got that that awful balloon game now. I don't know it. What bloody balloon game? Balloons. What happens? Oh, you've never seen it before. What when when the 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 sex of the baby? No, the dating show. No, I actually haven't seen it. Oh, you have to see it. Um, okay, we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll talk about it. it. Let's see it. Oh my yes. goodness. There's a, yeah, there's a dating show online where they line the men up, they line the women up, and they have a balloon. And if you like them, you you don't pop your balloon. But if you don't like them, you pop your balloon. <laughs> oh, that's sav that is so savage. That's I know. <laughs> <laughs> that that is cruel. That is so cruel. Oh my god. So imagine just going along and popping. Oh wow. And then they go and they say they're messy. They go they say, why did you pop your balloon? <laughs> 
<laughs> and then the, and what's up? Because I felt like it. Is that like the genuine the answers? Guy's like, the guy's like, oh, it was her shoes, or it was her. Or the girl says, oh, it's because he's not tall. Like it's. It's, not- it's very savage, but it is the dating scene as we know it right now. So, I mean, I mean, it's yeah. In real life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is, isn't it? Wow. It's, yeah, so I'm just, you know, I think a song like that is something that a woman needs to know. Like, hey, Agreed. You know, I'm still even thinking if you, if you don't, if you don't see it, then you missed out. Yeah, I, I agree with that sentiment, and it is quite a powerful message. So, you know, big up to Beyonce for that one. And one more. Yeah. One more. Um, okay, I'm going to have to say Nas is I know I can be what I want to be. Yes. If I work hard at it. I'll be where I want to be. I love it. I mean, he, he's a lyricist. Yeah. Amazing. I think that'd be a nice collaboration. Shout out to Nas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nasir, where you at? Yeah, where you at, Ness? <laughs> so, okay, so All About Me, that's your latest single. Um, yes. What do you want listeners to take away from it? I want them to really take away that, I'll say this, this record is something that is a record that was, that is where I am at a time in my life right now. Everything is focused on me, and I feel like everyone should focus on themselves right now. You know, we got to hone in. And so I want them to take away from the record, not to take themselves too seriously, Mm -hmm. not to stress, Mm -hmm. have fun, and also stay focused on the goals, baby. That's Mm. it. Get to it. Get to the money. Get to the ah ah. Get to the, you know? Yeah. So that's what, it's a real cool, it's a cool record. I did it with um, Darrell Rideout, who's um, a U.S.-based producer. He's worked with tons of of amazing other artists and, um, um, it's featuring Jason Cash, who is uh, a rapper from Carson, California. He is signed to Atlantic, super dope. And so two West Coast artists on, you know, a record, it's, it's history being made. I'm very excited about it. We're all... And we just finished the video, too. Oh, I'm super excited to see that. It's, it's very chill. It's a very chill, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited. Happy. Yeah. Um, so what did it feel like to win your first Grammy Award? Because that is something I want to get into your head about. So I contributed to an album as a writer. Um, I worked on Robert Glasper's Black Radio 3. And um, I worked on the record um, Out of My Hands featuring Jennifer Hudson. And uh, I wrote that with Robert. And uh, Jennifer, she came in and she wrote, you know, um, after she heard the idea and she and she loved it. And so, you know, just hearing her bring bring the idea to life was incredible. And I'm very grateful to have contributed to the album. You know, I don't feel like I'm just, you know, um, the one person who, you know, yes. won the Caribbean per se, of course. No, you know, it Robert. was team effort, um, absolutely. Yeah, team effort for sure. But just to be a songwriter and finally, you know, receiving um accolades from your work that you've worked so hard over all the years mm-hmm. it's, it's just very fulfilling um and it, it can be it's, it's validating you know what i mean it you does. want to you want to feel good about the work that you're doing and, you, and also you want signs from from god you want signs from yeah. the universe like yeah. am i on the right path am yes. i doing things that i'm supposed to do and so i feel like um you know the nominations and some of the awards and things like that those are signs those are little like you know claps for i me. agree with you wholeheartedly i think <laughs> that i think that we don't necessarily do things for accolades but sometimes the validation comes from the fact that you're working so hard for so long at something that when there is some type of recognition that people actually receive what you're doing then it makes you feel like okay i am not wasting my time i am on the right journey so i love that answer what does being a feminist mean to you being a feminist, to me, it means being unapologetically uh, a woman, being unapologetically, um, being unafraid to ooze and enthuse all of the attributes of what makes a woman a woman, right? And it also means standing up for everything that is right for the woman. Um, whether other people think that it's wrong or despite the views that they may have. Mm-hmm. And um, if I have to stand on the soapbox alone for those things, then I will. And so, 
that's what that means. I love the arts of my goodness. I can see why you won a Grammy for writing. Because <laughs> that free that was just like A star. All right. <laughs> you want to know something funny? Yeah. Whenever I'm taught, like dating, right? Yeah. Dating, all the guys are always like, they're like, oh, you're just running game on me because you're a song. <laughs> yeah, but I can see why they because you're slick with it. The, 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 oh, very slick. <laughs> you're slick. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why. So, guys, if you're listening, she's not really slick. It's not pre-rehearsed lines. This is who she is. This is who she is. This is who she is. (laughs) All right, musically, what are you working on now? I'm working on an album. The album is coming out in spring of 2025. So a little bit, hopefully, like around March. Amazing. Amazing. To have it out. It's definitely toggling with a couple of different... uh, title but the overall theme is that it's life music it's music about my life it's music about life in general that relates to everyone so if you notice this record is called all about me it's not a record about like relationship or this or that it's about something that everybody can relate to so each song is kind of like that yeah that helps you know each human being kind of the human experience and the things that we go through so very excited about it that's what i'm working on um, I'm working on a short film right now as well. Yay. Yeah, a short film and uh, and other people's projects that I can't talk about. Oh, that's amazing! Yeah. Well, we're just gonna stay glued to what's going on with you because you are an exciting, authentic um, artist to watch. Um, where can we see you perform next? Uh, next, I will be performing here in London at Soul Mama. Yes. Um, that's coming up and then I will be having a show in Los Angeles Mm -hmm. and then another show in Atlanta Um, and that's going to be in December and January so you're booked and busy yeah yeah booked and busy (laughs) that's the way it should be booked and busy BB it's the alliteration See, yeah. I learned something in school. Okay, you it. You got it. I got it. I'm, I'm an ex rapper, but we won't go there about that at the moment. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So the, I got, I got a few bars, BB. Yeah, bars. So my last question for you, thank you for being such a wonderful guest, is something we ask all of our guests, and we're going to put you on the spot. What's your favorite F word? My favorite F word. Oh, easy. Food. <laughs> Girl, I need to eat, okay? I ain't this thick for no reason, girl. I'm hungry. I just want to eat. I'm a foodie. Yeah, but you're you're thick and fine. Yeah, fine, fat, foodie. All of them start with F. I need it, okay? Okay, I I like that one. Fine, fat, foodie. Yeah, I think that somebody's going to take that and make that a restaurant. Listen, I need it. I need all the good eats. So yeah, that was easy. All right. Oh, that was easy. Okay, fair enough. So where have you been eating? Where have you been eating in the UK? Get put us on some game, or do we need to put you on somewhere? Okay. Where is this? Have you heard of that? No. They have a couple of them. One of them, I think, is in like Shoreditch or Hackney. Yes. Um, it's soul food restaurant. They have like, you know, all the soul food dishes, like shrimp and lobster, all mm-hmm. the like, mm-hmm. you know, the rice. The, um, everything it's so like ribs I, I, just, I love that you know London better than me so that 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 that's up for discussion here so I'm gonna have to go and check that out amazing <laughs> <laughs> you really are a food you should do some food blogging for us I'm looking I'm gonna look out for your story for your food blogs I tried Nando's yesterday mm, how did you find it I gave it a six out of ten yeah I would too Nando's is not that impressive that soul food sounds a lot more up my street yes (laughs) sorry Nando's sorry Nando's soul chain soul taste soul taste alright I'm making sure I'm going to put that in the comments as well and at them and say Brittany B plugged you yes yes well thank you queen i appreciate you so much it's been absolutely a pleasure genuinely a pleasure catching up with you i know next time it's going to be in person but you are such a beautiful spirit and we thank you for being taking time out to come on our wonderful community pod zine something new fresh and organic for the female creatives and we wish you all the best in your creative journey thank you so much i really appreciate it thank you so much i'm excited 
focus on my business I got a lot of shit to do with So even if I don't pick up Just know it's all still love, still love I'ma always ride for you